Hello, this is Bishop Jim Dunlop, and at the beginning of the season of Advent, the season of preparation, I thought I would like to share some thoughts with you. In Luke's Gospel, the first chapter, we hear stories leading up to the birth of both John the Baptist and Jesus, including the angel coming to Mary. And the angel says, for nothing will be impossible with God. And then Mary says, here I am, servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. And then the angel departed from her. That's a pretty good translation from the New Revised Standard Version, but it misses the key word in the original language. The word in Greek is hrema, which is that which is said or utterance, God's word. It really translates, no word from God is powerless. And Mary's response is, let it be according to God speaking. God speaks and things happen. There is power in God's word. In the beginning, God speaks, literally speaks the world into creation. So in this moment, to a young girl, the word of God comes and her life is changed forever. Unmarried, She's at the risk of a sentence of death, but yet in this moment, she trusts this word. In last, last year through the Synod, we've been in conversation about hunger. And as a Synod, we've adopted a mission statement that says that we are where the hungry are fed as we have been fed by Christ. And I've been out in congregations all over the Synod asking about the hunger that the congregations see both in their congregations and in their neighborhoods. And people say that they see real hunger, certainly for food and hope and forgiveness. But the one thing I always hear is that people are hungry for God's word in and out of our congregations for the very rhema of God, God's life-changing word so for us as Lutherans, the Bible is the place where we can hear God's word, God's voice, and become familiar with it. But it's the beginning place for us. It's not the only place for where God's word is alive. It comes to us in many life-changing ways. Jesus is God's word made flesh. And I certainly know in my life, God's word has come to me in so many different and unique ways. It's in my life that a brochure on tithing completely altered my understanding of extravagant generosity that changed my life as a young married person. And in a conversation with a friend on a hike who turned to me and said, I always thought you should go to seminary that changed the course and direction of my whole life. These are the moments in our lives when God speaks and everything changes. God is alive and speaking to us and calling us to changed lives. So my prayer for you in this season of Advent is that you may hear God's rhema, God's utterance, God's call in this season of preparation that God's life-changing word may come into your life and change it in unexpected ways. So on behalf of the Synod staff and everyone in our Synod, I want to wish you a joyful and expectant Advent and a wonderful and blessed Christmas.